so I'm still recording. And All right. Could you tell us your name and what freshman classes you teach at NHS? Cool. So I'm Norm Cody. You can call me Cody. You can't call me Norman or Norm. You don't have to call me Mr. Cody, but you can call me Cody. And uh, I will be teaching the freshman US one history. Yeah. Nice. What do you like about that class? Uh, like um, early American history, I, I think it's a hard sell for young people, but I think that um, everything that's going on now, everything in the world that's going on now, it goes right back to US one. So Definitely. like in, in, a, in a way that's more than US two, um, like it's the DNA of the country, tariffs, <laughs> you know, racial strife, um, all these things really can be found in that course. And if you can kind of understand it from the beginning, you see these like patterns forming, mm -hmm. you know, and then we're still really stuck in them. They're, they're almost worse, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, do you teach any electives at NHS? I do teach electives. I'm gonna be teaching AP Gov and politics uh, this fall. And I teach modern Middle East, which you took. Um, mm -hmm. which we won't be running this year, but might run next year, and that's 20th century Middle Eastern history, yeah. Very cool. What's one thing you'd like to do in your remote teaching this year? I do have this thing, I, and you know, this isn't necessarily exciting, but I think it would be efficient, um, which is Edpuzzle. I don't know if you've ever used Edpuzzle. Have you used that, Ellen? I have not. So you, you're able to get web, you're able to get YouTube videos and embed questions in them. So, oh yeah yeah and so the the idea there is that i'm not remotely lecturing because that just doesn't that just seems like not best use of the time so mm -hmm. before the night before and they're not long you know maybe four or five minute video you're answering questions and if you don't get the question right you just have to go back and review it and that way everyone kind of comes in at least with primed for what we're going to talk about so that's a good tool yeah that sounds good i like it um, have you always wanted to be a teacher? And if not, what did you do before becoming a teacher? Well, you know the answer to that. But, uh, I do. I'll, I'll, and so do all my other students. So I did all kinds of jobs. I think the one I probably mentioned most would be Ella. I was a... A tour guide in New York City. There you go. I was a tour guide in New York City on the double-decker buses. That tends to come up about three times a class. I don't know why. Seriously. It's definitely a part of the experience of Cody. It is part of the Cody experience, definitely. And so, you know, I moved to New York uh, in 93 to become a writer and an artist, you know, a musician. And I was there for 20 years. And, uh, you know, I've always, I, no, I did not think I'd be a teacher. But when mm -hmm. I met my wife and I decided to settle down, I thought, well, what would I want to do? I don't want to be in front of a screen. Unfortunately, this year, that might be the case. Unfortunately. Yeah, I want to be around people. Okay, again, this year, that might not be the case. Although, who knows? Um, and I want to be, you know, uh, performing in some way. And so being a high, I had the best high school history teacher. So I thought, oh, my God, I should do that. And that's, that's how I ended up doing, doing this, what I'm doing. Yeah. Very cool. What's your favorite thing about NHS? Uh, it's the students. I mean, it's just, just far away, the students. I mean, it's really a privilege. And that's who I work with, those are my coworkers. As I think I've yeah. told you, Ella, you, any job is a great job if you like your coworkers. And conversely, if you don't like your coworkers, then any, any job is terrible. And you Definitely. know, my students are my coworkers. You know, I'm the boss, you know, okay. And that's, that gives me a position of power, but, um, I, you know, I just enjoy the students. Northampton raises really nice, smart, engaged people, funny. Definitely. Funny. Very funny kids, yeah. Good group of kids. Yes. And my last question is, do you have any advice for the upcoming freshmen? Yeah, you know, try to get up and try to get into clothes. Let's just start there. Like, you know, because it's, it's, <laughs> it's, um, it's not for me. It's not that, it doesn't bother me if I see a kid in pajamas, I just think, that during this time, we're going to have to find a way to pivot and say, okay, this is the daytime now, you know, and I'm going to take a shower and get dressed. And that Definitely. Way, yeah. I, what was your experience with that in the spring? Um, you know, in the spring, I would definitely not do things that way this fall. Okay. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do this fall is I'm going to set up a place in my, my finished basement where I have a desk and I have my computer and all my school supplies. So I'm not doing it on the kitchen counter or my bedroom, just kind of an area where I can settle into the mindset of school. I think that's really important. I think that's really smart because the problem is, is that it's so easy to ease into something, but then you can't ease yeah. it out. You know, there's no sense of like, okay, I'm leaving that desk now. 
you know, Definitely. you know, I can change my clothes at two or three o'clock and, and get into something a little more casual, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. All right. That's a really excellent question. Ella, I'm going to stop recording, but you hang on because I want to talk to you.